Good morning. My name is Leslie Williams, and today's date is exactly 3-27-2013. Hold on one second, please. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because lately, for the past few days, I've been uh, uploading uh, audio files from tape recorders that uh, have to do with previous months, okay, in the last year. And the reason why I've been filtering through them is because of a uh, situation that arose over at a university campus. Now, as a result, what I wanted to do was to prove... See, I have been so busy in this uh, as a result of, um, of uh, uh, going to libraries to expose current events that I haven't been able to sit back and take time out of each day to upload videos of proof. Okay, from from digital tape recorders, the proof that I attain from because when I get up for the day, I get up, I clean up, I get dressed, and then it takes me a long time at times throughout this last year, all depending on where I'm going, uh, to get to universities or public libraries to write blogs, to upload videos of current proof, uh, to upload videos and write blogs concerning current events. And then you got shopping, laundry, sleeping, transportation routes, and everything. So for the past year, I've, I've been uploading what I can in reference to taking small time periods out of my day to upload current events in reference to what I catch on audio files. Okay? And um, so what I've been doing for the past, I don't know, about the past, ever since December, is I've been trying my best to take more time out of my day to filter through all older audio files to find... See, because when you're when when you're a victim of organized stalking, you got to try and prove that the stalking is happening to you on more than one day. This expedition is being managed by covertly managed by a third party. You can go to YouTube and type in "learning disabled woman catches gang stalker admitting sent to harass." I caught three teenagers admitting they were put on a bus route I was already on to engage in specific behaviors I was already describing in videos months prior. And one of those videos that was made months prior is in the description of that YouTube video, which you can which you can copy and paste into YouTube and view it. Okay, and then there was a video that was made one month before that that shows me describing the same thing that I was putting up with that the three teenagers admitted to at the end of January on USD campus. So lately what I've been doing is I've been filtering through some old audio files in relation to the gang stalking that occurred towards me at SDSU. Okay, and... Back when I was going to SDSU, which was in the years between August 24, 2011 up till 5-22-2012, what they were doing on that campus was most, using, using mostly uh, physical gestures, anchored physical gestures, in which is what the three teenagers admitted to, okay? Months after I was already uploading videos concerning how I was experiencing these physical gestures along my routes, sensitization tactics of organized gang stalking and expeditions. And so what they were doing mostly on USD campus was engaging in the physical gesture. Uh, cyber surveillance has occurred towards me at all San Diego public libraries and all the universities that I went to. And uh, at USD, they were doing the physical gestures and repeating words like, oh my God, crazy and weird. But what they were doing, and I didn't notice, it was that they were beginning to say and repeat gang stalker around me from a distance. Now, you got to understand something. When a person is working on a computer and their attention is focused on what they're doing, while they're being intermittently distracted with people purposely repeating physical gestures around you, your attention is focused on one thing. Your mental attention on the computer in reference to the work you're doing and your mental attention in reference to being hyper-focused because they keep you hyper-focused on what they're doing with the physical gestures. So I was kind of blocking out and I was only looking to catch oh my god, weird and crazy at USD. I didn't realize that they were saying gang stalker until after I viewed a video way after I stopped going there that, that from USD and heard them say gang stalker in reference to when I was making a video. Okay? Then that's when I started noticing they were saying that. And as a result of the cyber surveillance, um, uh, well, let me go back. As a result of me filtering through some audio files and then uploading the fact that I heard Gang Stalker being said around me at USD, they started doing that more openly. They were already doing it from a distance and I didn't realize it, okay? Because it was in the background noise. And I was already being attentive to trying to hear, oh my God, weird or crazy. They sensitize you to words, phrases, physical gestures, and even sounds. And then constantly repeat them along all your routes. Now, 
what I'm going to show you right now is audio file number three, okay? And I'm going to start playing it and then stop it really fast because you got you can see the date of the file once you press play because then the display toggles between, uh, just look at this. All right, now I'm going to press play. See how you see the date? 5-14-2012. This is an audio file of me being on the Green Line trolley once I got off the USD shuttle to go to Old Town, okay, from USD campus, okay? I arrived at Old Town from getting off the shuttle at USD, the USD shuttle at Old Town to get on the Green Line trolley, okay? And then listen how you hear Gang Stalker being said in the background. Then what I'm going to do is toggle back to file number 22, same day, 5-14-2012, okay? And then now, and this is an audio file of the same gang stalking being said around me in the bathroom and people coming in and out of the bathroom at USD <clears throat> and possibly when I go over to get um, something to eat at a restaurant that I went over to. So you're going to have to listen closely. It shows the same tactic being used in two separate places and they had to know when I was arriving at Old Town in 23 to put the people on the trolley to do it. Okay? Because that's how they make you feel stalked by repeating certain words, phrases, physical gestures, and uh, particular types of sounds like specific ways of coughing and clearing your throat. I didn't design their methods, I'm only exposing them. Now what you got to remember here is that, and then when I'm, when I'm playing each file, the 23 file and the 22 file, as it's playing I'm going to toggle to the display because this is the kind of uh, digital tape recorder where you got to press the button to get to the display feature so I can display the time of each file. Right now, the, the uh, display feature is set at the date right now. Now, what you got to understand here is that I did not develop their methods, but I'm, what I'm doing is educating you concerning them so you, can, so you can scrutinize the information that's on the audio file to be able to deliberate that there's no way that gang stalking is set around me, okay, at USD while I'm in the bathroom. And then I leave USD, get on their shuttle, go to Old Town, get on the Green Line trolley, and it's set on me there, which shows that I was stalked to USD, for them to do it and how employees were solicited to do it at USD then how they surveilled me concerning my transportation routes going to Old Town in order to put the individuals on the trolley to do it again on the trolley and I've already proven that this is what they do in reference to surveillance in order to engage in these uh, sensitization methods for you to be able to go so you can witness that factual reality you can go to YouTube again and type in learning disabled woman catches gang stalker admitting sending to sent to harass it was literally where three teenagers got on a bus route I was already on, bus route 928, the same bus route they had me assaulted on on October 10, 2011. So those three teenagers could sit in front of me, they're called crafted seating arrangements, so they can engage in what they were told to do by a third party by the name of Jamar, a person I do not know and do not have one clue who this person is. Okay? And check this out. That morning, on January 28, 2012, I'm just gonna uh, just gonna go ahead and, and, and brief you a little bit about that incident. I got on a bus over at Stone Crest, Crest Plaza Walmart. Okay, the 928 bus. I got on the bus, and then and then about within 10 minutes, three teenagers got on the bus and sat directly in front of me and were engaging in organized gang stalking sensitization methods of anchored physical gestures, which means they were constantly putting their hands to their face, taking them down, doing this, doing this, doing this, and then laughing. Then I went to, I, I got off that 928 bus and, and went to um, uh, Hazard Center Trolley Station to catch the green line to go to SDSU, okay? Then I left SDSU, went back and took the trolley from their campus back to Hazard Center and then rode my bike over to the 928 bus stop to go back to where I was currently hiking out at, close by the Walmart. So I could get off that trolley and then go back to the 928 bus stop and catch the 928 bus to go back to Stonecrest Plaza Walmart and they were either already on the bus at the, at the back of the bus or they got on the bus when I was reading the paper and didn't notice it. But the th same three teenagers were on that bus route, okay, that night when I came back from SDSU, went to Hazard Center Trolley Station, and then rolled my bike over to the 928 bus stop. It came, got on the bus, and then they were either already on the bus in the back of the bus and I didn't notice it or they got on as I was reading my paper. Then when the bus came to the Stonecrest Plaza Walmart bus stop, I got off and so did they. And they got off behind me and I heard them talking. So I turned around and I noticed it was them. So I approached them and said, weren't you the three teenagers that were on the bus earlier? And they said, yeah. And I go, what's up with you guys putting your hands to your face and, 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 
I think I might have said some shit like that. And they, and they started laughing. I said, I go, uh, I go, uh, who told you to do that? And I go, was it a stranger? They go, yeah. And I said, well, what's the stranger, what was the stranger's name? I was trying to keep them preoccupied in my questions so they wouldn't have time to think about how to answer them because these people look for excuses. So I said, was it a stranger? They go, yeah. And I go, well, what was his name? They go, Jamar. I go, you mean somebody asked you to get on a bus to do that? And they go, yeah. Okay. So two, uh, three months no before that, in November, I was on USD campus. They made a video concerning how I was putting up with the same exact physical gestures by USD library staff and students. Now, I've already proven that three teenagers were put on a bus while I was already on to engage in these gang stalking anchor physical gestures that they sensitized me to, which means I was being surveilled in real time. So, if you hear, when you hear this audio file of gang stalking being, because now they, now what they're doing, now what they're doing is that when they noticed that I was noticing gang stalking was being set around me as a result of me filtering through audio files, noticing it, and then uploading those audio files to video files as a direct result of their cyber surveillance, they seen me notice it because I was making videos concerning it. So then they started escalating that sensitization method. And this is a being, being caught right here on the Green Line trolley on May 14, 2012, eight days before a huge incident happened at USD that they staged. Okay? Eight days before it. Okay? Now, this is on the Green Line trolley after, and I even mentioned that I just got off the USD shuttle, just left USD. You're going to hear it, and then I'm going to toggle back to file number 22, which will show you the same exact tactic being utilized towards me at USD in their library bathroom, where I was being gang stalked at. Listen closely, please. You'll hear gang stalker being said if you listen. sit next to me.
I'll get you like, once you get fashion, I'll get you in like 30 minutes. Okay, cool. Okay, so you're going to be Okay, now that should have been enough for you to listen to uh, 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 what happened on the Green Line trolley after I left SDS, or USD on 5-14-2012. Now what I'm going to do is toggle to file number 22, which is right before it, showing me being in the bathroom at USD. Hang on a second. At USD in their library, uh, going to the bathroom and then leaving from there to go to the restaurant that was in the building right across from it and uh, uh, to get something to eat. Now listen to how you hear gang stalking in the bathroom and then I'm going to play a little bit of, of possibly going over to that restaurant because I'm running out of video time. This is that audio file here and I'm going to show you the display once I start running it because i got to hurry up and start recording. Listen to the word gang stalker being said in the background and how oh my god is also said uh, close by when it when gang stalkers said
my god. See if any problems happening in uh, my own here getting uh, prepared to go in this place to order from some French fries and uh, uh, to heat up my lunch. Today's date is May 14, 2012, USD. Mr. Sushi. How are you, dear? Hanging in there. How's your day going? Oh, not too bad. That's good. Monday. 225. 225. Mr. Jackson, coming your way. <laughs> Thank you, kind man. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. You only give me uh, 15, 75 back. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. Sorry. I was going to say, those are some pretty expensive yeah, french fries. Thanks, Here Munchkin. Wow, that was fast. Thanks. You're welcome. Sorry about that. That's all right, hon. It's not a problem at all. See you later. Now that should have been enough for you to be able to listen to it at two separate places on the same date, okay? Now look in the description of this YouTube video and look in the rest of the videos that are in this blog in reference to how the same exact tactic was caught at UCSD Club Med and SDSU, like flat out at SDSU. I mean, a person even yelled gang stalking, literally yelled it wide open, right out in the open, and that was caught on audio file and just recently uploaded to a video file. Now... With all this proof, it, is, it shows you that I was stalked from place to place to place to place in order for them to get around me to repeat these direct, they're called direct conversation methods, where the conversations are set around, the, the words are inserted within the conversation, set around you overtly, okay, but they're directly meant for you to hear. That's why they're called direct conversations, because they're directly about you concerning how they've sensitized you to them. Go to Google and type in organized gang stalking or gang stalking and sensitization methods. Then, when you review that, look at the direct conversation tactics. Sensitization, using direct conversations in order to be able to um, 